Okay, welcome to another video. I am the Starman. Now I hope you liked my last video on shooting the Orion Nebula. I was really, really pleased with the way the images came out in that video as well, because it was the first time I'd done that for a very long time. So I was really, really happy with the images. Now there is one thing that I didn't really touch on in that video, and it's quite important as well, but it does really require a video in its own, and that is focusing. Uh, it's quite a tricky one focusing um, I get it wrong myself sometimes and uh, it is quite important when you're shooting the, the night sky not so much if you're using a wide angle lens but in that video there I was shooting things that are quite far away using a telephoto lens so focusing was quite critical and I, I, I didn't even talk about focusing at all to be quite honest so this is a follow-up video to talk about how to focus and i'm going to be using a few different things really wide angle lens and also talk about how to focus using the telephoto lens and also a focusing aid as well and um, so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to show you a few examples of and the way to focus now it is a good idea as well to get familiar with the camera and your lens and how to focus with it manually during the day so that when you get out there at night and you're trying to focus on the stars you're twiddling the thing around and sometimes your camera might not fire for some reason it might not take a picture if it doesn't think it's in focus stuff like that make sure that your camera will take a picture make sure you know how to put it into manual focus mode during the day get familiar with it and then when you get out there at night it'll be a lot easier to focus on the stars so let's have a look at some examples now okay so let's have a little look at this uh, Nikon D5100 and the kit lens decent little camera not expensive at all you can pick one of these up fairly cheaply and it does a pretty good job of shooting wide field nightscapes so let's have a little look at how I would put this into manual focus mode and it's pretty easy all I have to do is go on the lens and flick this switch over and once I've done that um, if we come round we can see all we have to do then is rotate the front of the lens to get focus that's all we have to do if you look in the screen you can see but what you also want to do as well is you want to zoom in zoom, press the plus button to zoom in so you can see there we're now zoomed right in so right okay so i've now put the telephoto lens on the 300 millimeter f4 the same lens that i used to shoot the orion nebula in the last video now remember when you're using a telephoto lens to shoot deep space objects your focusing is absolutely crucial it's a lot more crucial than it is using the wide lens that I was using previously. So I'm just gonna show you now a couple of techniques that you can use to make sure that your focusing is just right. Okay, so I've now got it set up looking towards the star. Now, get familiar with your focusing ring. On this lens, this is the focusing ring. Uh, there's a little switch around the other side that I had to turn to get it into manual focus, which you might have to do on your lens, it depends. Some of them you can, focus without switching to manual but this one i've switched it to manual this is actually a, a pretty old lens actually this one but this is really good as you can see from the quality of the last pictures so this is the focusing ring <clears throat> and i'm now going to show you how the star looks in the viewfinder okay i hope you can see this but i've got the bright star procyon in the frame there and I've zoomed in on this a little bit, so if I use these, the plus and minus on the camera, you can see that I've zoomed in on this a little bit. And if I zoom in on it all the way, you'll see that it's quite a bit out of focus there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that focus ring and I'm going to turn it, wrong way, towards the infinity mark. And you can see, look how the star's getting smaller. And we want to turn it until it goes really small to a point 
and then go past that and if you go past it you'll notice the star seems to change colour a little bit this depends on your lens got a little bit of chromatic aberration there it's gone a bit red around the edges if you go come back let's bring it more towards the centre again let's go back the other way can you see how either side of the perfect focus it changes colour so what we want to do is we want to get it as small as possible so I would say around about there that to me is about as close as I can get to focusing um, by zooming in on your live view screen using your plus and minus and then rotating your focus style backwards and forwards now I'll just show you another way that you can get focus but it does mean using um, a little gadget that I've got right okay so I'm just going to show you my focusing aid I've got this little gadget here now this is actually a, what's called a batting off mask and um, astronomers and ast astronomy images deep space images will know something like this quite well because this is a focusing aid it really helps you to get that find that absolute focus for focusing on deep sky objects um, so quite a lot of deep space um, images will be familiar with this already so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the front of the lens and the way that this this has been 3d printed for me by a friend actually and the way that this works is that it creates like um, like a pattern and what you need to do is you need to make the pattern even you need to, there's a line that goes right through these two um, shapes and you need to line it up and when when that is lined up I'll try and show you a picture on the screen of how how it should look because it might be difficult to show you on on the camera but anyway this this is uh, quite a good thing to use if you're struggling to focus the way that I've showed you already so let's have a go with this now and see if we can focus using this batting off mask right I'm not sure if you can see this so I might have to show you some pictures of this instead but anyway I've put the batting off mask on the front of the camera and what we've got here is quite an interesting pattern which is created by the mask and what we need to do if I zoom in is it looks a bit of a mess at the moment but if I rotate the focusing ring just like I was doing before you can see that it comes sharp now there's a line that goes right through the middle what we need to do is we need to get that line to go right through the middle of the two diagonal cross lines might be more difficult than before this actually <laughs> but I can see that to me now to my eye might be difficult to see on the camera but to me I think I've got that lined up so that means that that is bang on in focus okay so that concludes my little video on focus and I hope it was a help a little bit difficult to show you actually um, not that easy really um, obviously using it's uh, using the wide angle lens and using the telephoto lens losing the telephoto lens a whole lot more crucial so that's why I showed you a couple of examples like using the batting off mask so especially if we're doing deep space stuff we're now actually coming to a good time of the year for doing deep space stuff so I think I'll be doing more of that I'll be shooting some galaxies maybe the Andromeda galaxy or something like that so look out for that over the next uh, month or so and um, I'll see you next time